Hi there! In this lesson, we will learn how to make an animation inside SpriteKit. We have a sprite of a dinosaur, and if we click anywhere in the screen, the dino will start to run. And if we click once again, he will stop. So clicking once makes him run, click again makes him stop. So that is what we want to accomplish. So we are now inside Xcode and we have a folder there called dino.atlas and inside that folder we have a sequence of images dino1.png, dino2.png, dino3.png and so on. And it is this sequence that makes up the animation. So if we go to my scene, we see that it is empty in the interface and in the implementation we have three instance variables, sprite node dino, action called dino run and a boolean called is dino running. So when we begin we set up the background color and then we call setup dino. And in setup dino, the first statement is that we are creating animation frames by calling load from atlas, load frames from atlas, providing dino as the atlas name, the base dino and the number 13. Now this dino refers to the this dino, dino.atlas and this dino refers to the names here. So the first four characters here is this dino here. And number 13 refers to the number of images in the animation sequence. So we called load from atlas which is here and the first thing that happens is that we create a empty array then we create an atlas and then we loop 13 times now in each loop we get a file name using the base, base file name which we provided here so the first time the file name will get dino1.png, next time dino2.png and so on. And having that file name we can create the texture by sending texture named to Atlas. And having the texture we can add it to our frames array which we had declared here. And when we are finished we return this frames array and it holds 13 textures. So we have those textures here and we use the first texture to create our dino sprite. We set our dino in the center and we add him to the screen. We also create the animation action using animation with textures time between the frames is one tenth of a second resize yes, restore no and then we make our dino run action by repeating this action forever and dino run as you remember was our instance variable here now nothing happens until the user clicks the mouse in that case we check if the dino is running if he is running then we stop him and set our is dining running flag to no. Otherwise, if he isn't running, we make him run. And then we set the flag to yes. So that's everything there is to it. So let's run this. Click and the dino runs. Click once again and the dino stops. Okay, thank you for watching.